We've had this stunning Art Deco lamp for about two years now. The hands were damaged when we got it, and we've been wondering how to replace them. Finally, we've found the proper tool for the job. Today will be our first attempt at CNC machining, as we use the Maykera Carvera Air to create a brand new set of hands. Welcome back to Montford Boulevard. We work almost exclusively with products of the Art Deco era, and this vintage lamp is one of the finest examples we've ever seen in person. We knew it would take a special approach to properly replace the hands on this vintage piece, and today we're ready to give it a shot. We'll be attempting to design and carve a new set of hands that will appropriately match the rest of the sculpture. It actually wasn't until quite late in this project that we made an amazing discovery about its origins. So stick around for that, and follow along as we try out some new, exciting techniques in this Art Deco restoration project. We've been sitting on this project for a while now, and finally feel we have the courage to take it on. It's just such a stunning piece, you kind of don't want to mess it up by working on it. Both of the hands were damaged though, when we purchased it. Some of the left hand is left, but the right one's completely gone. That base we later found out was made of onyx, which is a form of agate. Beautiful stone. The dress, the legs are metal. The head and the hands, we believe, are carved ivory. We're going to completely replace them. Her left hand looks kind of funny. The fingertips are broken off. We're not sure that's original, though. That was the consensus from the beginning. So we're definitely going to remove that and just start from scratch. Looking closer, we believe we can see a little bit of glue, perhaps epoxy, in there, indicating a repair. We do try to kind of stay away from Art Deco lamps and figurines. The reason is we just always want to buy them. But you know how it works on Facebook Marketplace. You start to see things that you've searched for, and they do pop up. So when we saw this one, we knew right away we better jump on this that wasn't listed for very long, so we were fortunately able to get it. Funny thing is, the lady who had this piece didn't really care for it. She purchased an ashtray similar to this one at an estate sale, and they encouraged her to take the lamp because they wanted to get rid of it. And she just loved her ashtray even though she didn't smoke. But she said, yeah, I just want to get rid of this lamp. So, we were very fortunate to pick that up. This is the Maykera Carvera Air, the machine that we're going to use to produce the hands, hopefully. This is our first attempt at CNC machining. A little intimidating, but fortunately this went pretty well. This machine was packed well, safely, arrived intact, Gave us everything that we needed, the toolkits, the accessories. It can work with a wide variety of materials. Everything from wood, even to different kinds of metals. Demonstration kit here. Aluminum and brass, it can work with that no problem. Today we're actually going to be working with epoxy resin. This is a tooling block here similar to what we'll be working with. Very impressive machine. We are going to jump right in and use the fourth axis, which is actually the most complex part of this machine. You can see we've got YouTube running in the background, the actual Maykera channel. I'm not really experienced in this, so watching these videos really helped to set everything up and get it running. This is the fourth axis attachment. Optional, but very powerful tool. 
Got the chuck wrenches included, of course, and below that you can see the epoxy tooling blocks. Two of them there. We're gonna use one of those and hopefully carve the hands that we need. It wasn't as intimidating as we were thinking putting this together. Again, thanks to all of the videos that we found on the Maycara YouTube channel. We're excited to check out the automation features that the Carvera Air offers. It has automatic detection and leveling functions. Typically, you can only find that in industrial grade CNC equipment. It has very high precision processing. We're gonna need that, setting up the block here that we're gonna carve out of. They say that the spindle runout is less than one hundredth of a millimeter. That surpasses many competitors who only offer two hundredths of a millimeter. So that basically doubles the precision. There's multifunctional expansion. Both the fourth axis and a laser module is available. We're not going to be using the laser module today, but options do exist for complex multi-dimensional machining and intricate engraving. Got everything set up here in less than an hour. We're just about ready to go. We're gonna be carving out of this epoxy resin here today. But first we need to input a file. So found these hands. The creator's name is Sabina Dahl. Remember that name, that's gonna come up later, Sabina. But these are designed as doll parts. This was actually a hand with a ball joint for a wrist for an articulated doll. But fortunately you can separate these pieces. All we want to use are the hands and we think that's going to be a good fit for what we're doing with this lamp. So this is Makera Cam. This is software that you'll need to create the file that will act as instructions for the carving machine. So basically, I've added some cylinders, kind of like a makeshift wrist. We just need these hands to be attached to something. Afterwards, we will sand and get that a little bit smoother. But this is what we're going for. This center support is going to help keep everything in place. Keep in mind, these hands are only like two centimeters long, so we do need something to support them. We think this is going to be better than using a 3D printer. This machine can cut deeper. You have so many material options. We're gonna actually do a scan here, calculate the cutting paths. As I zoom in closer, each line represents a pass by the machine. You can see the incredible precision. So we'll export that file. This is Carvera controller. The machine itself, the Carvera Air, can generate a Wi-Fi signal. If you want to work with your computer or tablet right next to the machine. So basically we're connected wirelessly. We can upload our files that way and control the machine. I'm getting the automatic probing tool in place here. It's gonna look everything over before we start. And then indicate that it's time to put in the first bit. First, we're gonna do a roughing pass. This is a 25 millimeter bit you can see it's not super precise, but that's not what we want for the first pass. This will be the second one, 0.2 millimeter, much, much more precise. I'm gonna remove the probe tool. It's really easy to change tools here. Real quick, you can just pop them in and out gonna hit the start button and it's going to go to work you can see it's making some pretty confident cuts there 
you can hear it's much quieter inside the enclosure that really helps, of course, with the dust and particles as well. This is a handy little saw that they included. We're removing the old hand on this figure, holding her so she doesn't scream. And we're going to prepare. We were going up and gauge with these drill bits here, preparing for the new wrist and hand so we can pop it into that socket. Coming back to the machine here, it was working all the while. We enabled step down so that it will not carve super precise again that's going to be the second pass but it's finished here and we are excited to take a look you can see that's looking exactly as we designed it we'll clean up some of the chips and dust here and then get into the more precise pass Here's the second finishing bit. Going back over everything, looking much smoother this time. This is so exciting. We've got our replacement hands underway. So here we go. These hands did have nails. We purchased those files, probably would have purchased them without nails if that was an option but we're going to cut away the support pieces and get this finished. Give it a little bit of sanding. This epoxy resin is a very workable material. It sands just like wood, but it's a little bit more durable than wood. Looking good. The indentations were there between the fingers, so we're just gonna scrape that out a little bit sand it, get them smooth. These are tiny little hands. They're only two centimeters long. We've got the blend all powders here. The color was actually quite close with this epoxy resin, but we're gonna get it just a little bit closer to match the skin tone of her head, which again, we believe is carved ivory. People don't really use ivory as much these days. Thankfully, coating that with some lacquer. Gonna come back in and widen that opening just a little bit. This is a pewter colored paint. It's water-based here. We're just gonna touch up the end of the sleeve matches quite well. Just can't wait to get these hands in there. It's been a couple of years we've been looking at this with the damaged hands. We've got this propped up and some two-part epoxy here. Now the moment we've been waiting for Looking good. Just a little bit of cleanup now. As we wait for that epoxy to dry, we're gonna add a little bit of silver paint. This is water-based, but it's a very high-end paint that we're using just to touch up these legs. And finally, such a relief to see these hands back in place. We are delighted with the results. Impressed with the Carvera Air. Could see how you could go much farther with this machine. 
We do have a $100 off voucher code listed below if you'd like to check out the Maycara Carvera Air. And something funny we only found out later in this project is who actually designed this statue. It turns out our lamp was made by Austrian sculptor Josef Lorenzel. He was born in 1892 in Vienna. Not much is known about his early life, but he was very prominent in the 1920s and 30s, especially related to the Art Deco movement. He oftentimes worked with bronze and onyx. He also made sculptures of celebrities, including Marlene Dietrich, popular movie star. Josef worked in ceramics. This was designed for manufacturer Goldscheider. Fun fact, Josef traveled to Paris, France, and was inspired by Josephine Baker. Her singing, her dancing, even the costumes that she wore, the floral patterns. And then we found this. This sculpture is titled Sabina. I mentioned that name earlier, fun coincidence. Clearly the same design that we're working with. And only now did we notice, of course, the back hand is lifting the dress. It's too bad we didn't see this earlier. You can see the delicacy of these carved ivory hands and the head. Here is a version of it cast entirely in bronze. That's without the ivory hands and head, and you can see how delicate the fingers are. That would probably be too difficult to do in ivory in a more brittle material, but that's really inspiring. We may just redo that back hand, not sure about that yet, but we did find this image as well, lower quality. If you look at the back hand, it's just sort of touching the dress. Again, that ivory being so difficult to work with. So for now, we are very happy with the way our hands turned out and we're just going to enjoy that. Another fun detail, Lorenzo would sign his works on the inside lower portion of the base in bronze. This was cast, cast bronze. Here's the back view of that same figure. So it would be on the lower right hand side. And this is our lamp here. You can see it's actually really difficult to see around those pieces of onyx. It was tough to see down in there. Also worth noting, this is the only lamp we've seen produced by Lorenzo. Probably a very rare piece that we're dealing with here. But we could peek down in there, we got some light in there, and sure enough, we could see his signature. It was so exciting to find that. Almost just like realizing we had a treasure in our possession that we didn't even know about. We purchased this for $40, but we've seen some of these pieces that have sold for nearly $10,000. Can't tell you how much of a relief it is to finally have the hands repaired on this beautiful Art Deco lamp. It's just so good to have the confidence now to know that we can pull this off. It's really thanks to the Maycara Carvera Air. You can get $100 off if you'd like to check out this machine. We've got the link below. Such a joy. We're going to hold on to this one, actually. We hope you enjoyed this diversion from the typical furniture projects. Of course, we always plan to stick with the Art Deco genre. Thank you so much for watching until the end and for all of the likes, comments, and subscribing. We'll be back again soon with another furniture video, but you're welcome back here at Monford Boulevard anytime.